I, uh, I'd like to start this episode by saying, when I was younger, I used to think that being a voice actor would be one of the coolest jobs on the planet, and after toggling, like, subpar celebrity impressions back and forth, I don't think I ever want to do it. <laughs> Here it goes. We would have been heroes if it weren't for that withdrawal order. You were only looking for a fight. My dear instructor. Yeah, I'm hurt. Those are rather cruel words for an inspiring student. A mediocre instructor like you will never understand. Cypher, don't go, don't get just stuck on yourself. You'll take all responsibility for leaving the designated area. Isn't it the captain's duty to take the best possible action? Cypher, you'll never be a seed. Calling yourself a captain is a joke. Oh, you hurt his feelings. And his tiny little arms. Has anyone watching this played uh, Kingdom Hearts? Because Cypher was terrible in that. Is he... Is he crying? Is he laughing? I mean, either way, are we going to actually ignore this? Hey, uh, Cypher. Uh, you will be disciplined for your uh, irresponsible behavior. You must follow orders exactly during combat. Huh? <laughs> Uh, but I'm not entirely, uh, without sympathy for you. I don't want to... I don't want you all to become machines. I want you all to be able to think and act for yourselves. Oh, here comes for the fucking alma mater. I am... Headmaster Sid. You have some business in your office. Dig what I'm saying? Ah, there are so many issues at hand here. Um. So. Seed shall not act beyond the exact wording of a contract. We are a non-profit organ- Ah, oh, dude, really? I mean... Okay. This incident will be a hard-learned lesson for the Dalai Dukedom. They'll now know to be more generous when hiring Seed. Uh... Alright. Well, we can do that. Oh, what's up? All students who participate in today's field exam report to second floor hallway. <laughs> I'm gonna blow my fucking brains out. I repeat, I'm gonna blow my fucking brains out. All students who took the field exam report to the second hallway floor, and I'm gonna blow my brains out. Somebody wanna help that girl? Hold on, I wanna see what old dude has to say. Didn't you hear the announcement? Go to the second floor hallway. Do it. Do it now. Let's see how many impressions I can do. And which ones I'm best at. Selfie's not my party anymore. Ooh, selfie, you fucking bitch. You got... Alright. Not more than one HP. She's not getting healed once. I refuse... Oh, excuse me, to heal her. So mind you, some of these impressions started out as something else, and then it kind of morphed. <clears throat> Man, I always want... This is one of those... You ever have a, an area in a video game that you ever want to, like, visit? This is one of those those places. I've always wanted to visit uh, Balam Garden. It's one of my favorite places in a video game. I think it's so cool. Up. 
They said they're gonna call our names one at a time. I don't know if I do like 50 year old Mike Tyson or 20 year old Mike Tyson. Fujin was saying that it'd be all your fault if Cyrus doesn't become a siege. She can be pretty scary, you know. Sup? Rage. Ooh, let me fucking stand back from you, you angsty bitch. So, dude, what? Are you okay, Becky? Does anybody see this guy? He's not. He can't be comfortable. There we go. Dinked? Zell dinked? See ya. Oh, dude, don't grab your butt cheeks and run away. This dude. This dude from Squad B. Please step forward. Do it. That is all. Dismissed. Oh, jeez. Like in unison. They don't get credit for that at least. These are the four students that passed today's exam. Look at fucking Headmaster Sid, man. Uh, first of all, uh, congratulations. Uh, however, from now on, as a member of Seed, you all have to give me a hand job daily. You will be dispatched uh, all over the world. We are proud to introduce Seed, Balam, Gardens, Mercenary Soldiers. Seed Soldiers are combat specialists. But, uh, hand jobs are required. It is a prerequisite, and it is in the books, page 3, uh, section uh, A. That is uh, only one aspect of Seed. When the time comes, <laughs> or when I come... Headmaster, it's almost time for the meeting. Please make this short. Seed is a valuable asset to God and... Its reputation is solely dependent on each one of you. Handle your mission with care. Is that what you wanted to say? Here's your seed rank report. Uh, uh, peace, peace. Um, I'm looking forward to the garden festival. Uh, I heard you died. Yeah, by the spider. Who's this fucking guy? Uh, do your best, uh, even if you don't stand out. Uh, this is the last time the game will see you. So we reuse your NPC. Uh, try to control your emotions a little. Don't bite people's ears off. Yeah, finally a gunblade specialist. Uh -huh. I do wonder if... Like, how much of Mike Tyson is an inspiration into Zell's character? Like, completely. This ends the seed inauguration. Dismissed. Bud, what do you gotta take a shit? What the fuck is wrong with him? Yo. Oh. Oh. Oh, this dude. Uh, let me give you this. It's a battle meter. Uh, X is the menu. You'll see a battle report and the information is true. If it may come in handy for future battles. Yeah, we'll privately talk one day. <laughs> Just you and me, big guy. <laughs> Headmaster said I'm 17. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we'll talk privately one day about that, too. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Fucking pedophile, Headmaster said. Bruh, selfie. This selfie. Alright, does everybody see what is going on with selfie right now? Does you see what she's doing? This is why she has one HP. This is why no cure spells are being used on her. And Zell, you're you're pushing it, buddy. If you fucking If it wasn't for you being useful, man, that ass grabbing shit would be you'd be out of here. Yo! This dude. Let's get back to class, buddy. Hey. No. Uh -oh. Fucking 
Oh, that's right. Cypher does a little clap. But why did... Alright, like, no bullshit, but, like, why does Selfie get a rank up? Like, that's what I'm saying. Selfie's one... Like, Selfie is such a filler character. Uh-oh. Hold up. Hold up. Uh, what is a good seed rank? Because I'm about to do this. You pay a certain amount, there's three different seeds. Wait, what's the best ex what's the best result you can get? All right, listen, I'm gonna say uh, I got the best seed rank ever. So that's just it. I'm I'm awesome. I didn't selfie. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, I didn't invite you into my fucking room. Yeah, that is your seed uniform. Uh, yeah, I can have you arrested for this, right? Man, I almost think Squall's got a dope room, but then it also kind of fucking blows. I do like the, the cricket ambience. Whose bed is this? Who's got it? Who's bunking with me? Hold up. Um. Yeah, I'll get changed. Aw, oh, dude. This is a boss ass uniform. Alright, let's see, uh, I'm gonna save it. Ah! Ooh, my neck! I'm an old man today. I'm an old man most days. Can I go? Hey, looking good! Thanks, selfie. Alright, let's hit the party! Great. This is actually... a really great scene. And I do enjoy the song a lot. Mmm, that's good. Yo! Sup, this dude? Heh, <laughs> I guess we're both thieves now, huh? I just wiped my dick on my, my hand. Put it there, man. Mmm, that's good. Uh, even at the feed, you, you're still the same guy. Well, that's that's typical of you. See ya. Oh, uh, hey, so I want to join the garden for so many. Oh, oh, sorry, <laughs> dude. He legit fucking bailed on her. Like, dude, even in a game, they wrote it into the story that they know selfie fucking blows. This dude, hi. Selfie, you already broke into my room. Want to join the Garden Festival Committee? I don't know. Selfie. Ah. Oh. Fuck off. Alright. So I'm going to be honest with you here. When I was a teenager... I would say, <clears throat> between the, like, yeah, all my teen years, I would say. I was a sucker for love stories, man. I really was. Um, this type of shit, I loved it. And I think it's because, like, I don't know, I, I liked the idea of, um, I like the whole, I don't know, I was in a relationship at the time, um, 
And as a kid, like, it, I don't know, it, it meant something, like, I don't know what I'm trying to fucking say. Um, dance me. Oh, see, I just thought this shit was so cute. Um, I liked the innocence of it. You like being involved with it back then. Like the girl I was dating, she sucked, but it was like, in the in the moment, it really meant a lot to me. Um, so this cutesy shit, really, it really hit. Like it was like personal to me. Um, cause I was also a dick bag of a teenager, like Squall. Um, but now, no, I, I love my wife and we're so much better for each other, me and her now as adults, like fully grown adults. But when I was a teenager, this cutesy, innocent, like puppy love type shit, I, I was a sucker for it. And even now it still makes me feel kind of like bittersweet. Cause I think it's like, oh man, I remember being a teenager and fucking this type of shit, like mattered so yeah man this stuff it's adorable look at them however i don't really think the chemistry between squall and renoa is that great um i like so final fantasy 8 is considered to be the love story right that's it was marketed as a love story um, I remember the back cover had all this love story nonsense on it, and, um, like, the player's guide, everything, like, all love, it's all a big love story, even if you look at the, uh, the logo of the game, um, it has Squall and Renoa, like, holding each other on it, and I just, uh, I don't know. I didn't think their love story was, like, organic. Like, when they start, they're much more, um... Squall seems very irritated with... Her kind of childishness. You'll see that in the story. Again, if you haven't played this game, you'll see, like, Renoa's very, uh, almost impulsive. Um... And Squall seems, like, irritated with her. Up to, like, a certain point, it seems like it drastically takes a huge left turn. And they just fall in love out of nowhere. As I always felt, maybe it'll be different playing it now. Oh, you're there an excellent student. Even that dance is perfect. You didn't see me bump into, like, five people? Thank you. Um... Yes? So you'll dance with someone you don't even know, but you can't stand being around me. Whoa. Oh, shit, dude. Quiz is upset about this. Ah, oh, dude, don't. You're an instructor. I'm your student. It's kind of awkward. Uh, when you don't say anything. That's true. I was like that myself. Oh, I completely forgot. I'm gonna push you off this balcony. I wonder what's to become of me. I don't know. You're 18. Your whole life's ahead of you, dude. I've come to give you an order. Bro, figure your shit out. You and I are to go to the secret area. It's where students secretly meet up and talk after curfew. It's inside the training center. What, uh... What the hell would you want to do there? We're going to tell everyone they're violating curfew. If that's the case, forget it. Leave that for the disciplinary committee. Quistus likes Squall. Going to get changed and meet in front of the training center. This will be my last order. Aw, oh, dude. Quistus wants you. This is the thing about anime fucking protagonists and shit and these fucking RPGs. is like... Why? You got all these hot chicks want you. Like, fucking just get laid, dude. Alright. Squall, get to that fucking save point. 
And that was the perfect amount of time for me to save the game on. Hey everybody, I am J Rust and I do I'm a nerd and I do tattoos and I like nerdy stuff and anime and video games and I do anime video game tattoos. So you should follow me on all my social media and if you like nerdy tattoos and nerdy stuff, then I'm the guy to follow cuz I am a nerd. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, you tune in next time. This is going to be a grueling playthrough for my voice. See you next time.